how to create an email marketing campaign in Klaviyo. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an email campaign and how you can make them effective into the marketing aspects. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first step that you need to do is to head over Klaviyo.com sign in or sign up for an account in the platform and boom here we have the dashboard once you have connected your account to the dashboard here you are going to see a lot of elements so here we are going to create our first email campaign as you can see i haven't yet created an email campaign i think or the platform is just saying that for the recommendation purposes so here what are we going to do is to head over the left side menu we have a here a bar that contains items and this is the dashboard um, control panel we're going to select campaigns from here and here i think that the platform is right i didn't activate it or create a campaign yet and this is good for the video. So what are we going to do? We are going to click on create campaign. Now we are going to give a campaign this uh, a name, for example. We are going to name it here Jacks, for example, clothing store, for example, test campaign, for example, like that campaign and the draft date is going to be here the the today's date the type here we have sms push which is going to be here a notification but i'm not going to use that i'm going to use it as an email only so we are going to select the tags for example email i'm going to put the tag as email then we are going to click on continue now we are going to set up the recipients or the audience that we are going to um target obviously we are going to click on send to here we are going to set up the audiences so here i do not have an audience but i will go ahead and select the one that we have we have the newsletter and the preview list for example these are the uh, estimated recipients count so you can go ahead and put here this option to uh ignore some persons or some lists for example do not send to for example you can go ahead and add this segmentation uh here we are going to turn on the smart sending so this campaign will not be sent to profiles who received a message from you in the last past 16 hours so i'm going to turn this on in my case because i want to add here let's say that the previous campaign or the previous messages has been about something like uh let's say here abandoned court or something like that so we are going to turn this on or turn it off so for tracking we are going to enable the utm tracking and you can also use a some custom uh tracking parameters so i'm not going to do that what we're going to do is to click on next here at the top now we are going to see the email message we're going to have the subject line the preview message and the sender name so as you can see here we have the templates now we are going to start step by step the subject line we are going to put it here so if you do not have an idea on how we can do that we can get the help of the subject line assistant so you can analyze learn or generate for example here we have the generation for selected campaign type so if you are going to run a promotion you're going to select this are going to run a newsletter promotion or campaign are going to get it right there product announcement and other so let's put a promotion for example here and here we are going to put something like here the brand name we can go ahead and put here store wide sale for example brand name uh, we are going to add here something like we're going to put here for description before the brand name christmas sale for example and uh for example like that i'm going to put the title correctly brand name for example here uh, we're going to put it as jack for example store 
and you are going to click on generate it is going to generate here some subject lines festivals uh, or festive deals are for you oh ho, hold on to our best prices whatever so uh, i am going to select this for example here here what we have before you this year for example uh for you here what now i'm going to uh here is your our gift our gift something like that for you this year so we are going to put it here so we are going we can go ahead and add for example some emojis and something like that so the preview text we are going to set up also this the uh, sender name is going to be tax for example stores and the sender email you are going to put it right there so you can use it as a reply to now for the templates you can either create a blank email or go ahead from here so uh, here i highly recommend for you if you are going to create a one from blank you're going to need the help of canva so you are going basically right there to visit Canva and get here promotional or Christmas, for example, Christmas, uh, promotional email. We are going to get some templates right there. So you're going to see those. And this is just an example. So maybe you can get this. So we are going to basically get it. I'm not going to uh, put here a design or a whole design, but I will let you see here the steps. So what we're going to do, for example, here is to uh, set up what there are the, uh, as you can see, something like that. This is very cool. So I'm going to put in here at, for example, something like that uh, at uh, Jack's, for example, Jack's store. Uh, here we are going to put on here the websites for example we are going to choose here this for example jack store and here we are going to put maybe the phone number or something like that i'm going to put this on here so what are we going to do is to get the image as a png not a video and we are going to get it as it is click on download this is another option to make it more effective. So basically the uh, content into the Clavio is going to be maybe some standard. So we can go ahead and add the background right there. So, so here we are, we can get the Canva integration, but I'm not going to do that. So we are going simply to head over here, get the image. We're going to wait for the upload for right there to be done. And then we are going to see the background. You can add it as a background. This is recommended for not putting here the, as you can see here for the header. But I think that I have regretted doing that. So what are we going to do here is to head over here the blocks. I'm going to see here that we have a block drag and drop uh, for the items. I'm going to put an image here. We are going to drag and drop the image. So we are going to head over download put it in here and we are going to see the content now for the logo we can go ahead and put a logo into here so for example right there i think that i have made something that i should not so we are going to select here we have it now for this specific one you can go ahead and put the content for twitter or x or whatever we are going to name it x since it is something new here on the nomination facebook uh, you are going to put the link address and instagram and you can add uh, whatever you want from uh, the social media uh, right there you can add some buttons for example here you can add some text uh, something like that you can add a product here so you can go ahead and add a product here so you can go ahead and select whatever you have the feed so here we have the feed you can create, a, for example, a product feed or modify this feed, as you can see. Let's see here if we have 
uh, or we can for, uh, set up the product feed. So you, here you are going to be, um, let's say, connecting your Shopify store. So basically the Clavio is going to launch campaigns or email campaigns based from a, uh, let's say, Shopify integration or any store uh, creator um, platform. So you can go ahead and uh, connect your Shopify store and then you can go ahead and select your profiles. Now I'm going to let you see uh, later on the video or at the end of the video, how we can install or integrate our Shopify store. Now for the subject line, I have set up everything from here. I don't know why it has been set to negative. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to set up here, uh, Jack store and Christmas. Christmas Eve, for example. Uh, I'm going to put it here. So we are going to correct this. Uh, I'm going to generate and see the lines. Here we have it. So we are going to put something like that, the preview. I'm going to click on next here. I have chosen everything. You are going to see here some automation and also everything or the issues that you have sending emails we have this more sending off you do not need it anymore from and replies i'm not going to uh, put up here this everything is okay so we are going to schedule or send it now for example you can go ahead and schedule it or send it right now and then you are going to schedule the campaign so that was uh, pretty much everything about setting up a campaign now what are we going to do is to exit here we are going to see the campaign on the drafts. Now, how we can connect our Shopify for the product. So we are going to head over here, click on it, and click on integration. This is the menu. So it is going to be here connected to my um, Shopify account since I do not have currently any product on my Shopify store. You can go ahead and click on ignore that and click on add integration. And then you are going to select the integration that you want. If you do not find it here quickly, you are going to type in shop five, for example, you're going to see it, click on it, and then you are going to install it. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.